Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but also kind of the same. We have a Beast Worm Simulators map within Studio. So this idea uh, is sort of a twist idea from one that you guys gave. I remember someone said, hey, look up simulator map in the toolbox, pick one, and fix it up for a video. Now, I was thinking... Yeah, I could do that. I could grab a normal map like this and try to fix it up and, you know, it'd be like a normal simulator map. But when I did this right here, biggest bee swarm map, uh, and it's actually uploaded by Onet, which is the guy who made bee swarm slip. Oh, this, this actually, okay, this, this might actually be like a, a false Onet account. So I, I don't know. This might be stolen. If it is, I hope this isn't too frowned upon. Anyways, I free modeled it from right here. I thought it was made by the original guy, but uh, until I clicked on his name. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, try to remake the Bee Swarm Sim map and try to make it look more modern. And uh, who knows, maybe he'll like it a ton and switch the map. We have no idea. So to start this all off, I need to make a list of every asset. Now what that's gonna be are the sunflowers, uh, these, I don't really know what these are called. Is there a name? Dandelions, okay. So sunflower, dandelions, mushrooms, there's uh, roses, cactuses, trees, pumpkins, a bunch of stuff, all right? And I need to remake all these assets, even the cannons and the pineapples. I'm gonna remake everything. So it might be a bit longer of a video, and I'm definitely going to be learning a lot because I, half of this stuff I've never even made before. I'll probably even remake the bees. So I'm going to start off by hopping into Blender and remaking every asset. From then, uh, it should just be kind of placing stuff. And I'm not sure how I want to replace the grass just yet. Now, this is the farmable grass. Uh, at the very least, I'll do a checkerboard pattern. Uh, but at the most, maybe I'll 3D model some grass. I just don't know how that would look uh, since you only get like a block at a time. So let me go ahead and start. To, I'm going to make a list of all the assets and then we'll see what all we have. Okay, so I think I have a completed list. We have a mushroom right there, a dandelion, sunflower. We got blue flowers, the roses over there, the cannons, pine trees up here. There we go. Cactuses, pumpkins. The bees, a four-leaf clover, which we have over here. Bamboo, right there. Red scythe, right there. Strawberries, right back there. Rock, I did say rock, uh, because there's like this kinds. These are rocks. And then up here, these. Wow, this looks so bad. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I hate hating on, on people, but like, it just genuinely seems like there wasn't a cohesive aesthetic when this map was built like some stuff looks like 2008 and then you have like actual textured meshes like it just nothing matches and it's driving me slightly crazy anyways then just uh the bubble wand right there uh pineapples which are up there and some picket fences and there we go guys i think that's all that needs to be redone i better get started because it's quite a big list all right guys so i started modeling some stuff last night it's a new day now and i have the rest of the models we have a scythe a bubble wand sunflower uh roses cactus two cannons four leaf clover bamboo picket fence strawberry and pineapple plus the assets that I've already put into studio. So let me just check these real quick, make sure uh, all our faces. Ooh, yikes. We have a little bit to look at. So what happened to the, oh, I scaled these and I forgot to only scale them on one axis. So I'll fix this up real quick. The cactus, pretty simple. Shift N will recalculate those. And then uh, these guys, I don't think it's overly bad that the inside is like that but I'll fix it either way. So to fix this one, I am just gonna make it its own object and then add a solidify modifier right uh, right here. There we go, all fixed, perfect, fancy, it's beautiful. Apply that, we'll join these two back together. And then uh, I just have to fix the fence, it looks like is the only issue. This here, pretty easy, there we go. Got that one fixed, all right. Now I just have this fence, which uh, I just, when I was scaling, I forgot to uh, not scale on this axis, the X axis as well. So that's why that happened, if anyone's curious. All right, just remade the fence real quick because uh, bro, I was not dealing with that. And uh, now I just have to take everything into studio and wait till you guys see all these assets put together. It's actually so much work or so much more work than I thought it was going to be originally. So, yo, if you could drop a like on this video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it.
Alright, so in studio we've got the old map and the old map. Basically, I'm gonna work on this one and then we'll be able to like look back at the end. Now, I did... Oh wait, which one? Uh, yeah, so I did grab all of these paths, or I thought all of them at least, and I'm just flattening them down to the ground so you can see where the grass goes. I'm not sure how we're gonna redo the grass just yet because, bro, I just... I just don't know. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. Did I do this on the other one instead? Like, why? I feel like I already did all this. Let me see. No, this one's not done. Huh. I swear I already did all of these and flattened them out, but I guess not. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Uh, but we're gonna be able to check, like, back and forth from the old map to the new one as I'm doing it. And, uh, I'm pretty excited, to be fair. Now, I know this isn't the entire Bee Swarm Simulator map as well as it's not the most up-to-date one, but I am very excited to try to just make it look a bit more cohesive, a bit more like it belongs together, and honestly, just modernize it. So first things first, what we gotta do is go to the lighting, guys, okay? We have to go to the lighting, because right now, yeah, this... Here, I'ma just, I'ma change some of this stuff up real quick. I I'ma stay right here, so when I come back, you can see the difference. It'll be a snap for you guys. There we go. Boom, guys, I have brought in some other lighting stuff. Now we're going to go into the actual lighting settings themselves and work on those. I always build in a super vibrant, uh, you know, some people hate it, some people love it, but I personally think just them bright vibes on Roblox, uh, it's a great place for it. So that's what I like doing. If you hate it, you hate it. I'll go cry about it later. Now I'm going to start changing some of these settings because, uh, yeah, it's just a little, a little rough. At the moment so for the ambient i think i'm gonna go like a yellow which will just kind of like give that effect that the sun is shining down on the map definitely brightens up everything a lot a bit of a warmer tone as well but not quite orange reds so i think that's nice brightness can definitely be down okay like let's go like two uh instead of three because yeah that was just a bit tough let's do this like a green we'll go uh 85 should be green yep and that's the color shift bottom, uh, since we have a lot of grass on the ground, you know, just trying to add that into our lighting. Color shift top, we're gonna do a blue, obviously there is a blue sky, so, you know, yeah, need, uh, we need blue. <laughs> now our shadow softness, guys, we're going to one, it's gonna give that very soft, like, I don't like the really sharp shadows for non-realistic games. So this kind of adds a blur effect on your shadows, and personally... I just, I just think it looks better. Let's change this to like 12, uh, like so. There we go. Very, very bright. I know, guys. I know. We can always change stuff later, but I just personally, this is how I like going. And let's turn the sun, uh, we'll go 60. So it's over a whole different angle, boys. It's gonna be like over that way. Yep. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for lighting for now. Uh, once again, we may change stuff later because it is a bit over the top. But if we just look at the before and after, guys, like... For me, alright, and I know I get hate for my oversaturation sometimes, but for me, if I'm looking at these, I would much, much rather play this one. Let me close this. I would much rather play the bright one, guys. Honestly, I, I just gotta be real. Now what I'm gonna do is hop through and add textures to stuff and start replacing all of the assets. I haven't even showed you guys the assets. Oh, man. Let me show you everything real quick because uh, I won't be recording the whole time i'm replacing everything because i think it's gonna take quite a bit but look we have all of the bees that are on this map they're pretty much the same i added a slight bend in their wings a slight bend in their body and then of course a bevel around the edges just to give them that softer more cartoony appearance uh these are the new mushrooms instead of those ones right there we have the blue flower right there which will replace those Four leaf clover is over here, bamboo, picket fence, you guys can see everything we got. Here's the little dandelion thing, the new scythe. Guys, I suck at weapons, and I will admit this every single day, but I don't think it turned out, like, horrible. I tried to, like, keep this style. It looks like this one was made in studio, but I tried to keep this style and just, like, modernize it a bit. I don't know. It kind of looks like a parrot's beak, but you win some and you lose some. I think first up, I'm going to add textures to everything and just modernize everything that is Roblox Studio built, and then we'll get into all of the assets. Alright, so I have kind of fixed up the shops, made actual windows where there was not, reshaped this one just a little bit, and it probably still needs some work. 
I'm having trouble because I don't want to change, like, everything as it's supposed to still look like Beast Worm Sim. But, uh, it's also like, yikes, like a lot of this could easily be changed. For example, like, one side of this is so fat and the other side is not, and there's not really much you could do about it, because just like how it was built and where they placed it at, oh man, it's definitely, uh, a bit tragic to say the least. But, I'm gonna start with the assets now, guys. Picket fences first, so it will be like, you know, replacing what we currently have let me go ahead and uh oh yikes let me scale these so they sort of match yeah it'll definitely be a lot tighter of fences also not as bright but uh hey we'll get it done so i'm gonna start replacing all of these assets with mine down here and uh man let's just hope it turns out awesome wow wow after a bit of time uh yeah here we are guys here we are every well, almost every asset has been replaced, modernized, switched to my style, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I think it's looking pretty good. If I wanted to go a little more in depth, I would do like real grass in these areas, but I don't feel like it would have really, uh, you know, fit the style too well, and the part count, holy cow, would be absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, check this out, here's the new cannons, looking pretty sick, pretty sick. I switched out the uh, the pine trees that were up here for I call these pile trees. Oh, I forgot. I didn't. Uh, yikes. Anyways, there was pine trees over here, and uh, I have these which I call pile trees, and I love them. So I put them in here. Some curvy dandelions looking good. We have another cannon over here. New flowers over here. Uh, the new bees looking pretty nice. Pretty nice. I did a uh, copy and paste the face off of the old ones though. So like, hey. You don't hate on your boy, okay? It is what it is. But guys, this is Bee Swarm Simulator revamped. Now, of course, I won't be doing anything with this map. It won't be going public or anything like that because I don't technically own it since I just got it out of the toolbox. But uh, it was a super fun time. The head over heels improvement has to be the mushrooms here. And the old game had like things around the sides you could jump up. So kind of made it like this. Boom, boom boom you can still jump up there and guys i do want to give a shout out to funky he did help me place a bunch of the assets as well i had a whole list of them over here and he helped me place them all down so pretty dope but that is going to wrap up today's video if you did enjoy and you want to see more content please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later